see. What's the difference between a kung fu punch and a karate punch? Well, a karate punch is like an iron bar, whack. A kung fu punch is like an iron chain with an iron ball attached to the end and it go wang and it hurt inside. It's a featherweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Hanato Moikata. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, Joe Rogan, this man has goals well beyond being the UFC featherweight champion of the world. That is the title that accompanies him as he makes the walk here tonight. He has won this belt, he has defended it in the past, but he wants to be the greatest featherweight of all time, and to do that, you need more title defenses more dominant performances, more finishes. He wants to be mentioned with the Hall of Fame types. In order to do that tonight, absolutely one he's got to have. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And with the end, our referee in charge, her game. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. The sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of. 29 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing at 140, fighting out of Brasilia, the street bike, and around Brazil, presenting the challenge of Hanato Moicano Canero. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 49 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon.
All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down Ready, right now. Ready. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. All right, so here we go with round one of this UFC featherweight championship fight as the champ looks to defend the title yet again. It has been a most dominant title run thus far. We'll see if he can add to his championship legacy here and retain the Oh, look at this. Who's so oh. that coming? He looks to improve position here. Back to side control. He moves to the mounted crucifix now. This is nasty. He's moved back into side control once more. Big Ooh. elbow. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's an elbow from the top by Lee. Into side control again. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Herb Dean calls for the stand up there. How about that shin? Placed knee for the KO. Yeah, Joe, devastating is one way to describe it as the knee knockout comes here in this round. And that's a big stoppage win for him. He was very accurate and precise with his strikes here tonight. And particularly when it comes to that knee strike, you don't have to put a ton of mustard on it to get the desired result. And here it is again. So by way of knockout, he gets it done tonight. There is the UFC featherweight champion, all smiles. No surprise there. Gets it done in a big way tonight as he wins the belt by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and steal. reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. That is the way he came in, and after the knockout tonight, that is precisely the way he will go out. His coaches obviously thrilled with the effort here tonight. They're celebrating in the corner, and that is a party that will not stop anytime soon. They have earned as much after the monumental knockout to defend the belt tonight. And coming up next, it is a featherweight championship fight between Bruce Lee 
and Frankie Edgar. As respected by his fellow fighters as any fighter on the roster, here is the former UFC lightweight champion, Frankie the Answer Edgar, wildly popular in his native New Jersey and beyond. He's got a heart for days, skills in every realm of mixed martial arts, an outstanding striker, great boxing under Mark Henry, jiu-jitsu under Henzo Gracie, Ricardo Almeida, Frankie Edgar. Frankie Edgar is very quick on his feet, and he is a cardio machine. He's been tested several times in fights that went into the championship rounds, and he goes as hard in the fifth round as he does in the first. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy. He is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp is absolutely spectacular. He has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. If you just this man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 91 wins, 35 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, USA, presenting the challenger, Frankie, the outside Edgar! And now, introducing the champion, fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 50 wins, no losses. He stands five feet tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. This is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This I is. am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go Wait, down fight. right Wait. now. All right, here we go. It doesn't get much bigger than five rounds if needed for the UFC featherweight championship of the world. All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion out of the red corner. Many of you were his title defense not all that long ago. He won it by knockout. And most of the guy, the number one can... Oh! Oh, big oh, knee! Body kick, look at that! Big shots! Oh, effective strike there by Edgar. Head kick lands Joe. Effective punch there by Edgar.
Orthodox for the fight. He's going oh, south down here. He's, he's got him hurt here. That one oh, appeared to stop him. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Nasty combination. Oh. Another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight. And offensively, I think his approach leaving a lot to be desired. Got to figure out a way to conserve some energy. There's that head kick. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Lee's head kick attempt. That one is blocked. Both fighters thrown out. Nice. Oh! They're blocked by Edgar. Frankie landing that jab. Oh, oh big nice knee! Oh, he's got him right here. Oh, oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Beautiful, accurate uppercut that got him the win. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Look at this. I mean, just stiff. So there is the UFC featherweight champion getting it done with style points tonight by way of knockout. Very impressive championship performance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. UFC featherweight champion of the world. No surprise to a lot of people, but perhaps in the way he got it done tonight with that emphatic KO. No TKO here. A flush knock. No judges needed. He said, I've got to come out and finish this guy. I want to send a message to any other 145-pound contenders that it's going to take their best night. And even then, they might not be able to knock me off the perch. The celebration is on for the UFC featherweight king. Coming up next, it's a featherweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Frankie Edgar. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. It doesn't get much bigger than this. Fuck rounds are needed for the UFC featherweight championship of the world. All right, so here we go. Round one underway of this UFC featherweight championship fight. All eyes are on the one guy. Look at that. Look at that, man. And now is where things could get really interesting. Reversal here, nicely done. Making all the shots count. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. 
Very nice ground and pound. He's staying busy. Effective strike there by Lee. Posture's up. Big punch from the top. In full guard. Trying to mount. He's got it. Full mount. And he connects there. Half guard. And he reverses position. Well done, Sweet, and winds up in guard. Elbowing him in the face. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Edgar. Oh, he got reversed. And back to his feet. Lifts the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Hook to the body here, blocked by the huge punches landed by both men. And he gets hit by that kick to the body. I like the way he mix that up here. There's a takedown, easily done. Perfectly timed sweep. He's now working from half guard. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. And back up again. He's got a beautiful leg. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be nice to get those hands up. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. Edgar gets absolutely melted by that head kick. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Body kick, look at that. How about that shin? Oh! What a leg kick! Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Round. These guys are exchanging huge shots. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Oh! Nice punch by Lee. Big yeah, shot to the head, he's stunned. This could be it. Oh! Whoa. He hurt him with that hook. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh, very nice. Oh! Kick to the body, he's hurt. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there, Joe. Landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Great angle here. I mean, just stiff. So by way of knockout, he gets it done tonight. There is the UFC featherweight champion, all smiles, no surprise there. Gets it done in a big way tonight as he wins the belt by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called a Southeast contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.
UFC featherweight champion of the world. No surprise to a lot of people, but perhaps in the way he got it done tonight with that emphatic KO. No TKO here, a flush knockout, no judges needed. He said, I've got to come out and finish this guy. I want to send a message to any other 145 pound contenders that it's going to take their best night. And even then, they might not be able to knock me off the perch. The celebration is on for the UFC weight king. It's a featherweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Jose Aldo. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, Joe Rogan, this man has goals well beyond being the UFC featherweight champion of the world. That is the title that accompanies him as he makes the walk here tonight. He has won this belt, he has defended it in the past, but he wants to be the greatest featherweight of all time. And to do that, you need more title defenses, more dominant performances, more finishes. He wants to be mentioned with the Hall of Fame types. In order to do that tonight, absolutely one he's got to have. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. And now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the UFC pound around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 84 wins, 34 losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Jose. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 52 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Right 
All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves. Back your corners. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Uh, you ready? You ready? Scheduled for five rounds if need be. All right, so here is the UFC champion trying to make good on yet another UFC title defense. And how good was that effort the last time, Joe Rogan? He won the fight by flush knockout. He'll be looking to do the same here tonight. And as the contenders have risen up to this champion's level, most have not been able to deal with his power. I wonder if he sent a coffee cake to the guy he just knocked out. He is going to try to take this guy out early and often, as he has done to so many challenges. He's got him with the Back to his feet again. Amazing. first. Yes, sir. It goes into the books as a first round win by knockout. Near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect. And it certainly did here tonight. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Boom. Wow. And there is our UFC featherweight champion getting the knockout on the biggest stage in the sport. Very impressive result here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. That is the way he came in. And after the knockout tonight, that is precisely the way he will go out. His coaches obviously thrilled with the effort here tonight. They're celebrating in the corner. And that is a party that will not stop anytime soon. They have earned as much after the monumental knockout to defend the belt tonight.